Well, when people walk in this house, they ask what's different. Because this new house looks like all the other show homes on the block, but it's a net zero house. It produces as much electricity as it uses, no fossil fuels needed. The thought of uh, not having a utility bill is, is really appealing. So we're walking into a mechanical room for this house. and, and on first Brent Strawn is with Minto, you know, one of a handful of developers that have house. teamed up with the so federal government to make net zero homes more affordable. Net Zero uses energy from solar panels on the roof to run a high efficiency electric furnace. There's also extra insulation, triple paned windows, among other things. It adds another 15% or in the case of this house, $75,000. After a year on the market, the house hasn't sold. What we're finding is that that cost is still a little too high for people to actually invest in it. But the federal government wants more net zero homes. It's expected to announce changes to the building code this fall to require builders to construct more of them over the next 15 years. There will also be new incentives to upgrade existing homes. The goal is to reduce the emissions from homes that produce about 17% of Canada's carbon pollution. We've gone as far as to add one inch of insulation on the outside of the studs. Tanya Rumack is with the company that builds super energy efficient homes in Edmonton. She thinks net zero will make a lot more sense in about five years. The carbon taxes that are coming in, all of these things will contribute to a higher cost of living. So it starts to make more sense in new construction to build it from net zero. Just tell me, Ian Beausoleil Morrison is researching how homes can store solar heat year round. He says there's a human factor to energy efficiency. Despite better construction and appliances, houses use the same amount of energy they did 25 years ago. We've offset all the technical gains we've made the last quarter century by living in bigger and bigger houses. So while the government is forging ahead with net zero, it's not clear how quickly it will catch on with buyers. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.